You may have heard that you need to keep both hands at 10 to 2 and feed the wheel from hand to hand to pass the UK driving test. This isn't actually true. Your examiner is far more interested in the level of control you have over the car than the particular method you use to turn the wheel. So long as you keep both hands on the wheel where possible around this area of the steering wheel and you maintain good control of the car, you will be fine. However, there are some methods of steering that they won't appreciate as follows. You will need to find a method of steering that prevents your hands and arms from getting in a tangle. No gangster style steering, especially if the airbag goes off, you're liable to give yourself a head injury. Try to keep your hands outside of the wheel. In a collision, the wheel can steer violently, which can cause a serious arm or wrist injury. This wax on and wax off style of steering is not acceptable because you can easily slip off the wheel. Keep your arms away from the airbag. If it deploys, your arms and hands may cause a head injury, especially if you're wearing a watch or jewellery. Steering with your knees does not really give you much control and is definitely not appreciated by driving examiners. One finger steering blatantly doesn't give you a lot of control over the wheel, especially your little finger. Steering with your thumbs at the bottom of the wheel is not considered a good grip. In motorsport, drivers are told to hold their hands tightly against their chest if a collision is inevitable. This will help prevent arm, wrist and hand injuries. But in a road car, it can be a bad idea because your hands and arms come between you and the airbag. I'm just sitting at home editing this video and realized I haven't mentioned anything about dry steering. Dry steering is turning the wheel when the car's not moving. Now today, you will not fail your driving test for dry steering, although in the past it has been known to be a problem. But I'll do a separate video all about dry steering later because it's too much for this short little clip. If you're struggling to find your own method of steering that is successful, try getting your driving instructor to teach you the push-pull method. This can be very effective, although requires some practice. This is the push-pull method. So, both hands go up and down at the same time. Watch this. My left hand grips and pulls the wheel down, but my right hand grips and goes down to meet my left hand at the bottom. And then I switch grip, so now my right hand grips and my left hand lets go, and they both go up together and meet at the top, and then you switch the grip again, so now the other hand takes over and pulls it down, and then the other hand takes over again and you push it up and you can go back the other way like so. I'll just do this a couple of times so you can see what's happening and then try that yourself. The great thing about this method is, is it keeps your hands away from the airbag and it allows you to continue to move the wheel with barely any pause at all which helps you get around those tighter, more difficult bends more easily. But as long as you maintain good control of your steering, have both hands on the wheel when possible, and always have at least one hand able to have a good grip on the steering wheel, you will be okay on a UK driving test. But remember, wax on wax off is not considered a good grip. That's all for this one. If you have any suggestions on future videos you want to see, please make a note in the comments and please subscribe to get those future videos.